Welcome, Wayne. So good to see you again. Um, I was wondering if you'd tell me, get me up to speed with what's happening at Tyrion. Sure. So uh, Tyrion, for those people who don't know about it, we are building a proof engine that allows you to verify the integrity of any data, file, or business process. Uh, we launched back in 2015. Um, we have several thousand customers come on board doing all kinds of interesting things from being able to uh, verify the integrity of data collected from clinical trials, create an audit trail for a business process, uh, and even um, validate the uh, cash and inventory transactions uh, for a cannabis business. So things that we would we would have never have, yeah. uh, have anticipated. Yeah. So it's, it's great to see uh, Chainpoint, the technology we've created, take off in a, sort of a mainstream way where it's being applied to uh, uh, real businesses as opposed to science projects. That's fabulous. Good on you. Um, what do you see personally as the main issues around trying to scale the blockchain? Hmm. I think people have still have the wrong idea about blockchain, what blockchains are and what blockchains do. Mm -hmm. So um, the original blockchain uh, was the Bitcoin blockchain. Cool. And the reason that Bitcoin has a blockchain is because it has proof of work as a consensus mechanism, as a way to be able to get all of the computers on the Bitcoin network to agree to a s new set of transactions to be added to the network. And so, um, so Bitcoin has proof of work because it needs to be censorship resistant and, uh, and have other properties that make it difficult to, to, to shut down. Now, those kinds of properties don't apply in a business context most often. So the word blockchain has taken on a bit of a different meaning. Now, if you go back to the early and mid 90s, when I, when I first got started, um, there was the internet, intranets inside your company, yes. and extranets, which were a way to connect with your suppliers and other companies. Yes. Um, and I see the blockchain being used as a term around building like extranets that use cryptography to help identify people who are on your network to be able to uh, validate all the transactions or all the data being sent across that. Okay. And it's even interesting, um, IBM had a, uh, a product back in the mid-90s called um, WebSphere. And the playbook that they had with WebSphere looks to me similar to the playbook that they have with Hyperledger Fabric. So I feel like blockchain is a word for recycled ideas with some new updated technology uh, in our modern era. That's a lovely, clear explanation. Thank you for that. Um, and what would you see uh, at the moment, uh, because obviously everything's in process still, um, would be the workarounds or solutions that um, could help um, the blockchain be more viable? Well, as with most things in life, there aren't really solutions. There's always trade-offs. Okay. So if you have a trusted network of partners and you want to be able to notarize your fish, yeah you know, for like a fish supply chain, yeah. then uh, you can use a blockchain platform uh, to do so. If you want to be able to create a world computer, which was Ethereum's original vision, the idea that you're going to get every computer that's part of this network to be able to maintain the entire record of every interaction or state change within that system is, um, it's just impossible. Mm -hmm. And so, they have a solution called sharding, which is a way of breaking up the network into a series of smaller networks wow. and having cryptography be able to verify and validate the, the, the state of different parts of that network. That's an oversimplified explanation of that. Okay. So I think what you're going to see is that um, people are just going to use the technology for the business case that is appropriate for them. Yeah. The word blockchain is not going to die, uh, not for a while. Um, but it'll be applied to many varying use cases that really don't have much to do with each other. And I think different solutions will make different just computer science trade-offs or different design trade-offs in order to achieve whatever goals they're trying to, to set out. So there's no real solutions. There's just people specializing based on the use case for the users of their network. It's interesting being at the beginning of things, isn't it? Because um, obviously the, the term blockchain has been bandied around and um, crypto currency's been bandied around and then all of a sudden you hear oh no you're not meant to say cryptocurrency or crypto anymore so it, it's sort of like it, being in the the whole start of something where things are changing so rapidly that um, it's hard to keep up so really helpful um, thank you so much for those very clear um, details thank you you're welcome thanks for having me on I appreciate it